So have you met any of the other neighbors? Oh, yeah. I met Janet. Mm. She said your husband's a musician. That's hot. Uh, no, uh, he's a magician. He does magic tricks. Oh. This happens a lot. So does your husband practice his magic tricks on you? I'm not really part of that process. I'm a big part of that process. I got it. If I start off with the ball and the handkerchief in my right hand and the lime in the left, then all I need to do is transfer, and at the moment that everyone's attention goes boop, that is when I steal the duck. It works, right? A husband who's a magician. That must be fun. And now that you all have your slips of paper, everybody gets a marker. Yeah, sure. Uh, just a second. Let me write that down. And your slip of paper is gone. Where did it go? Okay, go ahead. Thank you. So the book club, yeah, that seems like a nice group. So have you finished this month's book yet? Not quite. I'm hoping to have some time tonight. Hello, ladies. That's amazing. Yep. When he's not traveling, Josh is around the house. A lot. Do you know how he did that? Would you like to see some more magic? Yeah, that'd be great. Excellent. Excuse me, sir. There you go. Okay. All right. So I'll start with a deck of cards. As you can see, it's hard to have alone time when you're married to a magician. So sometimes I have to take extra precautions. So I'm gonna try to get the ball into or under the cup and you're gonna to try to see how I do it. Okay. All right. Are you ready for me to start? Yep. Okay. Well, that's the first time. <laughs> you didn't even know I started yet, so let's do it again. All right. The second time is much more difficult because you've seen it happen. So at this point, do you think the ball is already under the cup or do you think it's still in the pocket? It's already in the cup. Oh, I appreciate you giving me credit for it. It is actually still in the pocket <laughs> because I can't sneak it under the cup until I distract you for just a second. That's when I get it under the cup. Now to do this a third time is almost impossible because now you know what to look for 
and you know when it's going to happen. So I have to mess with the timing. At the moment that you feel like you're supposed to look under the cuff, that's when I have to do something sneaky here. Right. And the moment when your attention is over here, that's when I get the ball under the cuff. <laughs> so there's a lot of theories about how this is done. Is that maybe there's more than one ball, maybe there's two balls. Oh, right. And that's a valid idea, but of course for that to work, the balls would have to be identical. And that's half right. There are two balls. One looks like this, and the other looks a little bit more like that. No, that's not the hardest. The hardest is to get away with a second time. That's what's hard. <laughs> and these make sense to me. This makes sense because it's those little ball bigger. What doesn't make as much, to this day, what I do not understand. <laughs> how the baseball gets under the cup. Can I see the cup? You may. <laughs> is this a portal? That's the secret. It is a portal. Don't tell anybody.